Do you see what the, the, the latest rumors are, though, man? So here's, no here's, here's the latest. So Connor wants to fight. McGregor wants to fight, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, supposedly the only guy that he wants to fight is Nurmaga Madoff. But Ooh. Khabib's in the middle of Ramadan, so he ain't fighting probably until September. And Connor right. wants to fight. So apparently the latest rumor is they're going back to the old, uh, the old well, and it's going to be Conor McGregor, Jorge Masvidal, Fight Island in June. Yes. Oh, man. (laughs) Listen, I mean, you thought that Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor was a good fight buildup with the trash dog between those two. What's going to happen with Jorge Masvidal versus Conor McGregor with those two going at each other? First of all, how long before before Masvidal tries to slap him right in the face? When he when he when he gets it with that little with that little Irish accent and he starts talking and he starts talking all this nonsense and does Jorge Masvidal play the game of words or does he go right give him a three piece in a soda right in the face and we're we're off to running. I, I mean, first of all, they're not going to allow him near each other. But really, they'll, they'll have a virtual press conference, and there will be any no chance. They have right? to. Oh, oh no yeah, that chance. is true. They gotta have a virtual press conference. That's true. No, but not, not. Which is gonna make it worse because you it's ain't gotta make... deal with with the person right there. It's so great that I mean, the 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 trash talk will be unbelievable because it'd be like because some of the best trash talk ever was when it was DC versus John Jones, and they were in two separate rooms trying to talk over over cameras. It's gonna be pretty fantastic. Now you're gonna have to. Now, here's what I want. I want like a last dance on ESPN where we get a disclaimer. Guess what, everybody? We're letting the curses fly. Sorry. You want to watch the dump version? Check out the deuce. Check out ESPN too. But right here, we're watching the big boy talk between Connor and Jorge Masvidal, okay? I mean, all curses. Even. If, Mike, if Michael Jordan could go out there and curse Willie Nilly, if Mike Wilbon can go out there and curse Willie Nilly, yeah. if Scotty Pippen could curse, I'm going to need Jorge Masvidal. Conor McGregor on television going one on one to promote their Fight Island fight. Dana White did say, "I did see." He says it's going to kill me to play to, to fight Conor in front of no fans. He says twenty million dollar gate guaranteed every time that he fights. Uh, what are you going to do? That damage is done, my friend. You going to have him not fight, or are you going to you going to not take the pay per view money? Well, think about this. If you're giving up a $20 million gate. Would you make that up in pay-per-views? I don't know. Because I, I got to tell you. We're in, well, here's the thing. With we're live a- sport, with no live sports, if you put on a good, put out a good card, like, man. This is the thing I think hurts them. We're at a time. Now, if it's June, it might be a little bit better, although I don't think it's going to be quite all the way back. But one of the big ways you get pay-per-view money is restaurants and bars. Because they pay per square footage, they don't pay per buy, right? You know. Now, listen. Some people they they uh, they, they go the illegal route on that, which is not smart. The UFC. Let me tell you something. The the UFC is bloodthirsty when it comes to that stuff. So be forewarned. But um, that's so. I do think it's not going to be. I think it's going to be hurt. the The pay per view fight would be hurt just because of the circumstances we're in. But if you're talking about what is the biggest fight you could do in a pandemic right now and Khabib's not going to fight, yeah, I mean, Conor versus Jorge Masvidal, those are the two biggest guys going right now outside of Conor versus Khabib. So, yeah, I think it's going to be an absolute monster. Uh, I mean, he's going to get I a- can't imagine. I, I, I think, okay, and, and here's where, you know, Dana saying something like that means he's cutting off his nose to spite his face because would you rather not get any money right and 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 keep in mind i believe this if if you put on a card that has conor mcgregor and and people aren't allowed as fans to watch a sport does that add another five hundred thousand I don't right? know. Does that add another three hundred thousand? Well, so, we were talking. We were talking about this during the break about people needing to save their money just because of the times we're in. Like, does right. are we in an economic uh, 
are we in an economic place right now where people can afford a $75 pay-per-view? Now, I think when it comes to your entertainment and you think about, all right, I'm, not, I'm never going out to dinner. I'm never good doing anything. I'm not driving anywhere. Uh, maybe you set aside $75 because you want to see Conor McGregor versus Jorge Masvidal. Uh, you might not buy any other pay-per-view. That might be the one that you buy. Uh, I'm sure there's people who are spending more on streaming than they've ever spent on just because they're looking for something to watch. Yeah. But, uh. but uh, yeah, I don't think we're in the I don't think we're in the best market to ask people to pay for sports. But we are in a we are in a market that is demanding content. You know, right. we are in a market that doesn't have any sports. But it's not the best climate to ask people to to fork over extra money to go watch sports. Because I mean, of, but you're still gonna have your you're still gonna have your and, and keep in mind that. The people that are watching MMA aren't right. The the people that are thinking, "Oh, I ain't paying for this. I need to save my money," because it's already a niche sport. Like you're not if 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 you're if you're at it like that, you're not thinking, "Oh, do I have a chance? Do I have to decide whether to pay for my car or get paid for you?" <laughs> you know what I mean? I so think. Look, is, let's be honest. If if you're in that if you're in that dire straits, uh, you're gonna pirate it. It's not that hard. I don't mean to be that 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 frank about it, but people who could who need to get it for free could get it for free if they wanted to. Right, but if, and it still but, does well. And it still does well. But and but here here's the here's here's what I would say. We make the assumption that if people, those people didn't get it for free that they would still buy the buy the card. And I would say no. that most people get it for free because they want to see it. But if they couldn't get it that way, they just wouldn't watch it. Yeah, I agree. I think that uh, I think like that, that was a big argument for why uh, Wilder versus Fury 2 didn't do bigger numbers. It did really good numbers for them. Like it did tr- the, the rematch did triple the numbers of what the original fight did, but they were expecting like Two million pay per view buy. I'm like, you guys are being ridiculous. I'm like, you're lucky to crack a million. How many did they get? Just under a million. Which, which was pretty. It? Which in these days, like, look, today's day and age, pretty good. There's not Mayweather's out there, man. There's there's McGregor. There's Mayweather. That's it. I think of the people who could purely do a million. What was it a hundred bucks a pop? Um, no, I think it was seventy five. I think it was seventy five. Seventy five. Man. But their first fight, their first fight did two hundred thousand. Their first fight, right. so so they had. You think it was gonna go from two hundred thousand to two million? That's what they were saying. I was like, "You're nuts." That doesn't that, even make any sense. Doesn't make sense. But that's see, and that's where we are with that. But so with you Con- have all of, you have all of these, um, these promoters and these promotions, where they're not being realistic. Yeah. Like to offer Tyson twenty million to do bare knuckles fighting. Okay, you think Tyson doing bare knuckles is going to get more than Wilder and Fury? Uh, it could. It could. Uh, I don't know, man. Because when I when I get when I when I get a fight, um, I'm interested in the undercard. I understand there's, that. There's never most, been that many most, fights most people- that I've purchased where I'm going to watch four or five. Just we've been to it. Watch four or five fights that are just, yeah. I'll just wait until the main event. No, understood. understood but most fights are a gimmick, you know. Like the biggest fight, the biggest fight uh, in pay per view history, or second biggest fight in pay per view history is Connor versus Floyd. It's a crossover gimmick fight, right? It's the names. The names are what sell. What else, Robbie? Oh uh, yeah, no, yeah. Mike Tyson. He apparently he's got offered twenty million dollars to fight in that bare knuckle yeah, fighting. How's that, how's that? How's that poll doing so far? Yeah, but here's a, here's our poll right now. Would you pay to watch Mike Tyson and bare knuckle fighting? Right now it stands, Robbie, at seventy percent saying yes. They would buy a Mike Tyson bare knuckle pay per view. All right, Mike Tyson. I'll tell you one thing. This isn't smart because what you should do is you should have him and Shannon Briggs on the same card. And then build up to a fight with both of them. That'd be something. I mean, you think they're both going to want to do it again? What if, I mean, what if it's uh, a lot of green? Yeah. All right. A L- lot of green. You think Evander Holyfield would do it? Ah, oh, man. I would think that. I, I don't know. I don't know. 
I can't say no, man. Like Evander, Ho Evander Holyfield had one of the great fortunes eradicated in in, in boxing history. It's it, it bums me out. You know, like that guy. That guy should have been taken care of for generations. But have you ever seen Evander Holyfield's house? No. Oh, oh, I'm sending you that during the break. It's ridiculous. It's got like a gazillion bedrooms in Georgia. <laughs> it, it's the most insane. Like it's just it 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 makes it it would make it would make the Lannisters blush. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yeah, man. The Holyfield, the Holyfield Mansion. What else you got, Robbie? Well, uh, I found the sound. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys are having trouble confusing. You know, Albert Wilson and Preston Williams. Well, don't yep. be, don't worry. You, you guys are not alone. Drake, the running back. Three receivers flank to the right. Back to throw. Tannehill, slant pattern. It's caught. Down the oh, far yes, sideline. Touchdown, Grant. To <laughs> keep Grant with exceptional speed. Albert Wilson. 29 yards. <laughs> Albert Wilson, excuse me. Albert Wilson put a little stutter and go after the catch. <laughs> Kept his balance, went down the sideline into the end zone. Dolphins got a two-score lead here. Grant! <laughs> He's so excited about it. Grant! <laughs> like he got shocked in the butt. Grant! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. He's going to have a hard time with Tonga Vailoa. Yes, he is. <laughs> and Igben Agony. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, no. You too, Grease Man. Oh, that was good. What else, Robbie? Uh, so yeah, uh, did you see t uh, Tony Ferguson yesterday get posting that video of him getting you know doing the, getting tested, getting the, the, the nose swab? I gotta tell you, this COVID nineteen test looks awful. Just like a entire. It, I, is it like the flu test where you got to put the whole cotton swab all the way up to your brain? Yup. Yep. Terrible. Ugh. Yeah, John Anik, he's getting. He's uh, he told us that he's got to get it both tests. The COVID they test. Do, but, well, they apparently they reportedly have twelve hundred tests. Who does? The UFC, okay. 1,200 tests for this weekend. All right. Now, now I will say this, that people don't realize, like, if you're a business, you can purchase these tests from a different place, from, from a, 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 a private uh, entity. So it's not like the government is providing these tests or whatever. That's two different things. Yes. Yes, they uh, they have, but they, they, just basically to know that they're having an abundance of tests to to, get, to take every precaution. Right now, if Tony Ferguson does happen to get COVID nineteen, and will they tell anybody? That's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think if anybody tells Dana White that Tony Ferguson got COVID nineteen, that doctor's going to end up like the Russian doctors who uh, <laughs> you know fell out of a window. Excuse me, Mister White, Mister White. Positive COVID-19 test for Mr. Ferguson. Because I uh, want you to do me a favor there, Chief. Why don't you look at that window? Ah! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine if it was the Khabib Tony fight and one of them came back <laughs> positive. They're like, oh, sorry, seventh time. Seventh time's a charm. I tell you one thing though, if that if if that McGregor and 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 Masvidal fight happens on Fight Island, count me the bleep in. How do you I get on that there, island? There's no way your wife is letting you go there. Uh, yes, she will. Okay. Hold, sweet day, right. day, day. Let me see if I can get her over here. Day. <laughs> Diana. Dirty Diana. She's not coming. Maybe no, she's walking she, the dog. You know why she's scared to come in here? Shenanigans. That's why. D. And maybe she has a class or something. I shouldn't be doing this. Oh well. Just assume she'll let me. So mad. I mean, if the, if sure you could come, if you, no, if you could watch I'm it from not a assuming boat. Nothing. Yeah. What well, hey. can we watch? For no. How about this? This is one of those things. Like my wife said, when you guys do something, you need a jackass release form from your wife. Let me ask you this: If, if, if since we have Masvidal, Masvidal is going to be on the debut card of Fight Island. That's a big local story. You know, we haven't done any uh, local events. We didn't get to go to the draft. 
Can we yeah, talk to uh, the powers that be over here? Can we get a boat to fight island? Man, we just got a new transmitter. You Whatever. You going to foot the bill for you to go anywhere? We'll, we'll, have, we'll have Funky Buddha sponsor the boat. It'll be the Funky Buddha boat. And they'll take us oh. to uh, and they'll take us to Fight Island, and we'll bring a big, we'll be, we'll, you know, we'll bring a, a couple lucky fans. What? How many fans are we allowed to have? Six. So, because uh, we have a, what a group of ten, so there's three of us, and so we'll bring seven fans to go watch Masvidal kick McGregor's ass. Oh, okay. What about right. that? You got a plan, huh? You got it all. I got. I, I got out. a plan. You don't have to get off the boat. You can stay. You could watch. You can watch the fight from the boat. Totally yeah, safe. Dude, we just we just pull up right on the beach. It's not going to be on a beach. Like it's going to be on, no. Yes, it is. That's what he said. He said the cage is going to be on a beach. Why don't you believe this? Why do you think I don't believe this? Fight Island. The worst. You what? Fall for, you fall for anything. If it's something you're interested in, you're all in. You thought they were going to have fights a couple of uh, a month ago. I know, but now they're going to have fights this yeah. month, and then Fight Island. Fight Island is still real to me, damn it. Okay. Is it, it is. I mean, John Anik, you could tell the difference. I mean, I wasn't there for the first time. I was in Senegal, but oh, apparently he, he was, was super excited. worried. He John was Anik, excited. John Anik was super excited. Like, he was, he was, it was a different, it was a different man. Not nervous about a pandemic. He knew the precautions were going to be taken. And now we got extra time for Fight Island, and it's going to be kicked off with McGregor versus Masvidal? Come on, bro. Get 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 Len on the phone, and I want to I want to ask him if we can take a boat to Fight Island, in sponsored seconds, by Funky Buddha. In two seconds, we're gonna get a text that says "not happening." Yeah, it's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> That's you. That's you. Fight Island. It's a thing. You it's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you are out of your mind. I love it. Well, well speaking right. of Galena, one of his favorites, uh, Mike Francesa. No. But Fight Island, that boat. But Fight Island on the boat where there are no laws, that's going to happen. You guys can vote on that poll at Brendan underscore Tobin on Twitter and Instagram. I put you on the Instagram poll too, Leroy, if you want to go to Fight Island with us on a boat to watch Masvidal kick McGregor's ass. You think Masvidal will beat McGregor? <laughs> Badly. Badly. I say McGregor's got to get him in a round. He's got to get him in a round. Otherwise, high time. High time for hard times. You think so? Yep. All right. Bigger, more versatile, better, more places. You think he's more versatile than um, Connor? Easily. Connor's a striker. What else does he do? What has he done? What has he done? No, he's great. Look. We've gotten to a point where Connor's become a little bit people. People uh, put to Connor's rise to the featherweight championship was one of the most incredible things ever in the history of the sport. It was awesome, but the bigger the opponents have gotten, the less spectacular he's gotten. That's just the facts. Okay, them's the facts. Who's Leroy? And I saw you know I saw Connor McGregor. If we want to do a little MMA math for you, believe what you will. Uh, we saw what Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz gave Connor all he could handle. And Masvidal gave Nate Diaz the business. Yeah, he did. Gave him the business. Woo. So that's that. Man, hey, that Nate Diaz is a bleeder. Woo. Yeah. He, Goodness. He's got, he's I've never that. seen a fight that he was in where the, the, the octagon was just a bloody mess when he was done. Win or lose. Yep.